Hey guys and welcome back to another one of our instructional videos. Today I'm going to be showing you how to tap our linear rail. This is a 20 by 40 V slot in particular. So in this process we're going to need something with a little rigidity so we can wipe off our drill tap as well as our drill with our tap already inside the collet here of the drill. We're also going to need some cutting oil which we can actually use other lubricants so if you don't have cutting oil handy you can actually use something like vegetable oil for instance just to lubricate that bit so we can go in and out of the v-slot smoothly all right so let's go ahead and get started here guys so first I want to take a look at the settings on your drill we want to adjust that to a lower setting to about eight that way you don't have too much torque going into the v-slot because you can snap your bit so from there we're gonna go ahead and take a cap from like the top of your cutting oil or you can use any type of reservoir here to just hold the oil so we're gonna spray in a little bit of this cutting oil just like so then we're gonna take the drill we're just gonna rotate that tap and the cutting oil all right, once we do that, it's going to tap it off a little bit. You want to make sure that you have your drill at a low setting. So this has two options, two and one. So I'm going to keep it at one. And then I'm going to securely hold on to the V-slot, keeping your drill as straight as possible because you don't want it to go in at an angle because then your, your bolts aren't going to fit in correctly. So we're going to insert the drill tap, holding this firmly. I'm just going to go ahead and insert the bit. Now what I do is I go in and out until we fully get that tap in there. And now you're going to see some metal shavings, so we're going to wipe that off with our rag. You can use a brush, a toothbrush even, whatever you have available. I'm going to make sure to put some more oil on our tap. And wipe it off again. So basically you're gonna do this process until you get the desired length of your tap into the V-slot. But make sure that you're always wiping this down because the threads will get bunched up and you'll create a larger space than what your tap is designed for. You don't wanna do that guys, you just wanna go ahead and wipe those shavings off, keep your tap lubricated, and just slowly go in and out until you have your V-slot tapped. So it's a pretty simple process. And thanks for tuning in. And please hit the subscribe button here at the bottom of the YouTube video. And we have more instructional videos and builds coming out every day. So we look forward to seeing you on here, guys.